So what do you guys want to say? Hi, Fatima. Anything else? Are you excited? the rails and they are pretty um yeah they're shiny they're pretty they're straight they're metal they're metal and they're pretty and the struggles of getting them up there and um it wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> Here we are putting the uh, solar panels on the roof. Now Peter was very worried that one of the panels was 0.1 millimetre out of alignment, but we decided that uh, that wasn't going to be too much of an issue. Uh, everyone's working on the roof. We've now got the sixth panel up in place. We've just checked the voltage across the terminals and it's all good. Two more panels to go. We just put the solar panels on the roof, but so that they don't actually generate any uh, DC power until we're ready for it. We've now covered them with cardboard boxes, which will mean they won't get or uh, we'll get very little sunlight, and therefore we'll have no chance of uh, injuring somebody because it's quite a high voltage DC, uh, particularly uh, when you're not drawing much power. Meanwhile, inside the shed, we're putting a panel on the wall to uh, hold the the power module. At Takano's uh, putting the, the the bolts into the mount for the power system on the wall. Here we go. We'll come up and have a little bit of a closer look at it. Here we go. So we're nearly ready to connect the power system.
This is day four of the trip. As you can see, we're all digging the trench for the water pipe to go through. Uh, it goes from the borehole all the way through to the water tower at the far end. Okay, well here is the moment we're about to lay the pipe in the trench. The trench that's been dug with love and care over the last few days. And here is the moment. There it goes. We found some novel ways to feed power cable into conduit. And here comes the cable. There it is. There we go. We're gluing up the conduit joints. Professional job. Wacky do. We have water. Not good. <laughs> 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 Fail. Hello everybody. Uh, today's the official opening for the solar powered groundwater pumping system that we've put in. And I'm going to give a bit of a speech. And I think the team is going to record that as well. And it's all very exciting. The New Zealand High Commission is going to be there, and the Minister of Education, and I think we're going to have a ribbon to cut as well. So stay tuned. There we go. Oh, yeah? Okay. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 You reach out to whoever he needs what? Tonga College. Um we just celebrated its one hundred and twenty seventh anniversary this year in October. And it was tasked with the responsibility of uh, pioneering techni technical advancement for the development of the country. You have brought in a more friendly, uh, environmentally friendly uh, technology to Tonga College, and we should take the responsibility to move with it uh, for the future. Tonga College had the technology that was powered by fuel, costly pollution and other bad effects. Today, you have shown us the way. Either that or the Kumara and the chicken soup. That was part of the um, school lunch. Like watching Richard finish coconut for like five seconds. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Nah. He's like, oh, do you want some coconut? He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you should finish it. And Graham? Uh, the highlight of my day was uh, watching one of the guys just climb up a coconut tree in about five seconds, <laughs> kick off like half a dozen coconuts and climb right back down, Gra grab a jar of machete, whack him over, and then just hand off a couple of them. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> Good day at the office. Charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, smile, I've got a video going.
need one of those big waves to come along. It's proved that um, island time is an elevator. Yeah. Now you know what they say, good things take time. <laughs>